conservationists in Sussex are planning a badger vaccination programme to help prevent the spread of TB in cattle. The Sussex Wildlife Trust wants to vaccinate all badgers on its nature reserves within a so-called TB hotspot. Some badgers in the county have already been vaccinated in a project run by a group of volunteers. The new scheme will ensure a much wider area would be covered. Our environment correspondent Yvette Austin has more. The badger, a protected species common in our countryside, but they can carry bovine tuberculosis, a big problem for farmers and conservationists alike. Well, we're on Sutherland Nature Reserve, which is one of, the, one of, our, one of our reserves just outside Lewis on the South Downs. And uh, as you can see, it's a graze nature reserve with cattle and sheep as well, which is vital to look after the, uh, the, uh, the conservation interest of this area. The problem is that we're in a TB hotspot, and that affects our grazing operation. The hotspot shows where TB is regularly found. It stretches from Eastbourne to Brighton and up to the A27. 18 herds have tested positive this year in East Sussex, three in the past month alone, and 52 animals have been slaughtered. Vets test all the cattle in the county for TB every year. They often see farmers suffer. They feel like uh, lepers almost, um, and, and it's a disease which you know, your neighbours get to hear about it, uh, and it is a contagious disease um, from cattle to cattle as well as the, the issues with the wildlife reservoirs. So it's very depressing. A fresh case means no cattle can be moved off the farm or nature reserve affected for at least four months. Culling badgers is being tried in other parts of the country, but it's controversial. Vaccination against the disease is preferred by many. In Sussex, volunteers have begun an inoculation programme and now Sussex Wildlife Trust wants to extend it onto its nature reserves. We have to vaccinate every badger on our land um, every year for at least five years. Um, it's doable. Uh, we know it's been done by other wildlife trusts, for example. Uh, so it is doable, um, but it is a serious operation and we need to commit to this. The vaccination programme will cost tens of thousands of pounds. They're appealing for donations. Yvette Austin, BBC South East Today, Lewis. It's a quarter to seven.